Hey bosses, it's Gabrielle. So today we're gonna to be creating an opt-in or a lead magnet that allows you to sell out your event, all right? So let's talk about that today. And we're gonna be pretty quick. It's gonna be a very quick and dirty video. It's not a lot of information that I need to share, just very key strategic points that's gonna help you make some tweaks in your marketing um, your event marketing plan and allow you to have a better results in your um, marketing planning and your event planning process. If you're going to create an opt-in that's going to help your audience to understand the value of your event, you want to make sure that you're first creating content that educates them as to why your event would be beneficial for them. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link to a video I did about creating content that attracts your audience in the description bar below. Number two, you want to create content that separates your audience or separates your ideal clients from your target audience. And so that content speaks directly to the problem that they're having right now and gives them a step-by-step -step solution as to how to fix the problem. Our opt-in is specifically designed to separate your ideal clients from your target market. Okay. Now, even more so your opt-in is also designed to break down exactly what they need to know and understand step by step in terms of getting results. So an example of that would be um, an event planning checklist would be a great opt-in for my audience or an event planning checklist for business owners planning in-person classes and workshops. That would be a good opt-in because I'm trying to get people on my email list or you know on my in my event marketing funnel who are interested in planning events but not just interested in planning events they're entrepreneurs who are interested in, interested in using events to grow their business they're interested in using events as a marketing tool so i'm going to give them a step-by-step -step checklist as to what they need to do to plan their event i'm going to give them a step-by-step -step guide as to what they need to have in place for their event maybe an event funnel um, template stuff like that would be good opt-ins for my particular audience if you are a graphic designer maybe a, a graphic design checklist before going to a graphic designer would be a good list because you're a good gift because you're trying to get people who are ready to pay a graphic designer so um 10 things you need to have prepared before paying a graphic designer the people who get on that list are specifically people who are looking for graphic designers and are ready to pay for graphic designers, right? So that will be an example of what I'm talking about there. So this will be something that gets someone ready for the solutions that you're offering. Some, and it also lets them know how ready they are for the solution that they're about to um, get. Good opt-ins would be a checklist or a workbook or even a free in-person class or an online free online workshop. Okay. So I just wanted to break those things down for you. So let's run through one, a quick example. So let's say that your offer is business coaching. More specifically, you are a business coach who specializes in Facebook ads. If that's what you do and you're a business coach who helps entrepreneurs to grow their business with Facebook ads then you want to be doing content on why Facebook ads are so beneficial for business, right? So that's the free content that you're going to be putting out there. Content that educates. Now you want to have content that qualifies, which could be a free event or your, or, or your checklist that kind of breaks down what they need to understand. So that could be everything you need to know about, um, Facebook ads for business owners. Um, or Facebook ads for business owners. And you break down the process of Facebook ads for business owners, right? That could be a free in-person class or workshop or a checklist that invites them to a class or workshop, okay? Um, so that's kind of how you want to do that. And then at the class, at the end of the class, you're like, hey, you know everything you need to know about Facebook ads for business, but you're probably like, you know, you don't have the time to do all this stuff on your own. You probably don't understand the concept still or you feel like you're not comfortable, confident enough to do it on your own. Well, I actually have a service for a limited amount of people, six people to be exact. Um, that's going to help you 
with your Facebook ad process. We'll take it off of your plate. We'll do it for you. And so you all need to do is worry about your business and what you thrive at doing. That's it. And now you have a funnel that you've used what I call an event funnel to grow your business. Very simple to the point, And that's pretty much it for today's video. So I'll see you guys over in the next video and have a beautiful day. All right. Bye.